Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Multiple UMP Configuration video. In this video, I will show you how to configure multiple UMP servers in a CA UIM environment. If there are a large number of users logged into UMP at the same time, you might experience performance issues in your CA UIM environment. To solve this issue, you can configure more than one UMP server. Once you've configured your UMP servers, you can use a load balancer to distribute your user traffic across each server. Before we begin, be aware that the procedures in this video will not provide your environment with UMP failover capabilities. Also, note that additional steps might be required if you are using Microsoft SQL Server Windows Authentication, Topology and Root Cause Analysis, or any deprecated UMP portlets. This screen shows the view of my environment in Admin Console. The highlighted robot will act as our secondary UMP server. Since a robot is already present on the secondary UMP server, I will begin by deploying the necessary probes and packages. First, I navigate to the local archive in Admin Console. From here, I deploy the following packages to the robot on the secondary UMP server. Java underscore JRE. NIS API underscore WASP. Ant WASP. After deploying the first set of packages to the secondary UMP server robot, I must deploy UMP and all of its portlets to the same location. Each portlet will have a name preface with UMP underscore. For example, the USM portlet appears in the archive as UMP underscore USM. I then start the WASP probe by clicking the black down arrow next to the probe status icon and selecting Activate. Note that the WASP probe is not fully started until the port and PID values have reappeared. I will now configure the WASP probe on the secondary UMP server so that it will point to my primary hub server. First, I open the WASP raw configure menu in Admin Console. Then, click on the Setup folder and select the Data Engine key. Next, I double click on the Data Engine value field and enter the full UIM address for the Data Engine in my CA UIM environment. UIM addresses are formatted as follows The first value is the name of my CA UIM domain. In this example, the domain is called M1. The next value in the UIM address is the name of the hub where the probe is deployed. In the case of the data engine probe, this will always be the primary hub. The third field in the UIM address is the name of the robot where the probe is deployed. And the final part of the address is the name of the probe. I am done making changes in the setup folder. Next, I click on the UMP common folder and change the following keys so they are always using the full UIM address. ACE, Automated Deployment Engine, Discovery Server, Maintenance Mode, MPSE, NAS, Service Host, SLA Engine, Trellis, and UDM Manager. Now that I have updated all of the required fields, I click Apply. There is now a prompt to restart the WASP probe. I select Yes to apply the new key settings. Now I must deactivate the WASP probes on both the primary and secondary UMP servers before continuing. Deactivate each probe by clicking the black down arrow next to the probe status icon and selecting Deactivate. Now that the WASP probes are deactivated, I can configure the UMP portal to use multiple UMP servers. Be aware that in order to complete this step, read, write, and execute permissions on each UMP server are required. First, I log into the primary UMP server system. Navigate to the Classes directory folder in the CAUIM installation. And open the portal-ext.properties file in a text editor. After opening the file, I uncomment the highlighted lines, then save and close the properties file. Once the properties file has been updated, I log into the primary UMP server system and navigate to the data folder in my CA UIM installation directory. I must share the document library on the primary UMP server. Since I am using a Windows platform, I share the directory for the folder with the full read-write access. If this was a Linux platform, I would share the directory using NFS and ensure that no underscore root underscore squash is enabled. After configuring the shared folder, I can log out of the primary UMP server. Now I must log into the secondary UMP server. From here, I will replace the document underscore library folder with a symbolic link to the document underscore library on the primary hub. Since I am using a Windows platform, I do this using the mk link command. 
If this was a Linux platform, I would use the mount command. For more information about these commands, you should review the documentation for your specific operating system. Now I log back into Admin Console and navigate back to the robot for the primary UMP server. If my UMP servers had network connections that were configured to use both IPv4 and IPv6, I would also have to add an extra parameter to the WASP probes on the primary and secondary UMP servers before continuing. To do this, I would open the WASP configuration GUI by clicking the black down arrow next to the probe status icon and selecting Configure. I would then navigate to the Java Startup Parameters section of the GUI and enter the highlighted parameter to the Extra JVM Arguments field. Note that the parameters in the Extra JVM Arguments field are separated by spaces. Repeat this step on the secondary WASP probe. I then activate the WASP probe on the primary UMP server by clicking the black down arrow next to the probe status icon and selecting Activate. Again, I must wait until the port and PID for WASP have populated before continuing. I have now completed the WASP configuration for the primary UMP server. I must now configure the secondary UMP server portal properties. First, I log into the secondary UMP server system. As I did on the primary UMP server system, I navigate to the classes directory folder in the CAUIM installation and open the portal-ext.properties file in a text editor. I then uncomment the same lines I did on the primary UMP server system then save and close the properties file. Now I can activate the WASP probe on the secondary UMP server. After the WASP probes on both systems have restarted, I will test my configuration by logging into UMP. I will use the IP address of the primary UMP server to do this. Once logged in, I confirm that UMP starts successfully. For more detailed information about this topic, refer to the CA DocOps platform or visit the CAUIM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.